Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom, kingdom now, now and, and forever. forever. Amen. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ saith. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Merciful God, who didst send thy messengers, the prophets, to preach repentance and prepare the way for our salvation, give us grace to heed their warnings and forsake our sins, that we may greet with joy the coming of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Let the wilderness and the dry lands exult. Let the wasteland rejoice and bloom. Let it bring forth flowers like the jonquil. Let it rejoice and sing for joy. The glory of Lebanon is bestowed on it, the splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. Strengthen all weary hands, steady all trembling knees, and say to all faint hearts, Courage, do not be afraid. Look, your God is coming. Vengeance is coming, the retribution of God. He is coming to save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, the ears of the deaf unsealed. Then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongues of the mute sing for joy. For water gushes in the desert, streams in the wasteland. The scorched earth becomes a lake, the parched land springs of water. The lairs where the jackals used to live become thickets of reed and papyrus. And through it will run a highway undefiled, which shall be called the sacred way. The unclean may not travel by it, nor fools stray along it. No lion will be there, nor any fierce beast roam about it. But the redeemed will walk there, for those Yahweh has ransomed shall return. Then will come to Zion shouting for joy, everlasting joy on their faces. Joy and gladness will go with them, and sorrow and lament be ended. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Luke. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Now Jesus was teaching one day, and among the audience there were Pharisees and doctors of the law who had come from every village in Galilee, from Judea and from Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was behind his works of healing. Then some men appeared, carrying on a bed a paralyzed man whom they were trying to bring in and lay down in front of him. But as the crowd made it impossible to find a way of getting him in, they went up to the flat roof and lowered him and his stretcher down through the tiles into the middle of the gathering in front of Jesus. Seeing their faith, he said, My friend, your sins are forgiven you. The scribes and the Pharisees began to think this over. Who is this man talking blasphemy? Who can forgive sins but God alone? But Jesus, aware of their thoughts, made them this reply. What are these thoughts you have in your hearts? Which of these is easier, to say your sins are forgiven you, or to say, get up and walk? 
but to prove to you that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralyzed man, I order you, get up and pick up your stretcher and go home. And immediately before their very eyes, he got up, picked up what he had been lying on and went home praising God. They were all astounded and praised God and were filled with awe, saying, We have seen strange things today. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be Praise to thee, be to thee Christ. Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have seen strange things today. What a true response from those witnessing Jesus and his power to heal the paralyzed man and to forgive his sins. Strange things indeed. Strange perhaps in Jesus' day, less strange we hope in ours, for we are disciples of Jesus, followers of Christ, who realize that he has the power to forgive sins and to heal us. The forgiveness of sins, the assurance, the absolution, is important because it can help free us, lighten our hearts, free ourselves to walk in, in the knowledge of forgiveness. There is a load that is taken off. And I like how Jesus pairs physical healing with spiritual healing in this gospel because it reminds us, it reminds me, that we are physical and spiritual beings ourselves. And often, at least for me, perhaps for you, when I'm, I am carrying a particular sin, or if not a sin, an anxiety, some trouble in my spirit, often it manifests itself physically. Feel perhaps a knot in my gut, or a tension in my neck, or shoulders, or a headache. Maybe you feel it too when your conscience is pricking you, or you're carrying a sin or an anxiety. And what a grace it is to be able to turn to our Lord who loves us, who gives himself for us, who forgives our sins merely for us doing the asking with penitent hearts, with the amendment of life to try to set aside what it was that we have done that is sinful and displeasing and to walk forward in a way um, that is better than the way that we had been. The Gospels give us this example of Jesus healing spirit and healing body. May we, in the celebration of this Eucharist, be healed both in body and in spirit. Celebrating the Eucharist is the chief way that we are reconciled to God and one another, whether we are celebrating in person or by necessity um, on distance, as this pandemic would have it be. But may what we do here today not only feed us with the presence of Christ, but also heal us and send us from this space into the world, walking anew, walking refreshed, walking with our load a little lighter, knowing that God has taken away our sin and bids us to go in peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Continue with the prayers of the people, page 328. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church and the world responding. Hear our prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, who in thy holy word has taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all people, receive these our prayers which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church and the vestry, staff, and people of this parish with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord, and grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Give grace, O heavenly Father, to all bishops and other ministers, especially Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, me, your unworthy servant, and Joseph, our seminarian, that they may both by their life and doctrine set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. 
and to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, especially to this congregation here present in person and online, that with meek hearts and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. We beseech thee also so to rule the hearts of those who bear the authority of government in this and every land, especially Donald, President of the United States, Joseph, President-elect, Gretchen, Governor of Michigan, and Sheldon, Mayor of Flint, that they may be led to wise decisions and right actions for the welfare and peace of the world. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Open, O Lord, the eyes of all people to behold thy gracious hand in all thy works, that, rejoicing in thy whole creation, they may honor thee with their substance and be faithful stewards of thy bounty. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. And we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those who, in this transitory life, are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear, beseeching thee to grant them continual growth in thy love and service, and to grant us grace so to follow the good examples of the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Joseph the Worker, her spouse, St. Paul the Apostle, and of all thy saints, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Grant these our prayers, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Ye who do truly and earnestly repent you of your sins, and are in love and charity with your neighbors, and intend to lead a new life, following the commandments of God, and walking from henceforth in his holy ways, Draw near with faith and make your humble confession to Almighty God. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. The burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life, to the honor and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all those who, with hearty repentance and true faith, turn unto him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and to bring you to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hear the word of God to all who truly turn to him. Come unto me, all ye that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Thank you. Well, good morning and welcome to St. Paul's online and in person. It is good for the church to be together. We are blessed to have the technology to celebrate this Holy Eucharist together, even as pandemic and distance and circumstance um, keeps some of us apart. Whether we are apart or together in person, we are together in spirit. And I invite you to receive the Blessed Sacrament, the body and blood of Jesus, whether you are here in person or worshiping God online. The benefit of the sacrament is yours. The real presence of Jesus, as we understand him in the elements, are yours whether you receive him materially, in person, or spiritually in your home. 
You have done what we have done here. You have heard God's word broken open. You have put your prayers before God who loves you. You have confessed your sins before God who is merciful. All that remains for you is to open your heart to receive Jesus as he is known to us in the sacrament. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God. We continue with Eucharistic Prayer 2, page 340. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right to do so. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Everlasting God, because thou didst send thy beloved Son to redeem us from sin and death, and to make us heirs in him of everlasting life, that when he shall come again in power and great triumph to judge the world, we may without shame or fear rejoice to behold his appearing. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord, once God. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All glory be to thee, O Lord our God, for that thou didst create heaven and earth, and didst make us in thine own image, and of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to take our nature upon him, and to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption. He made there a full and perfect sacrifice for the whole world, and did institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. For in the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks to thee, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, we thy people do celebrate and make with these thy holy gifts which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, 
and looking for his coming again with power and great glory. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and with thy word and Holy Spirit, to bless and sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may be unto us the body and blood of thy dearly beloved Son, Jesus Christ. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, whereby we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies. Grant, we beseech thee, that all who partake of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and to be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction. And also that we and all thy whole church may be made one body with him, that he may dwell in us and we in him, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. By whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let us keep the feast. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. The gifts of God for the people of God. By Christ our God. For Christ our God. body of Christ, the bread of heaven.
Continuing on page 339, let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank thee for that thou dost feed us in these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of the Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members and corporate in the invisible body of thy Son, the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship, and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God.